Lauren, there is a deep level, grave level of concern tonight in this Durham community. Look, we were over at Durham City Council today. They were paying homage to the teenagers who were lost in yesterday's shooting, all the while two other young people were shot right here in the Bull City. Tonight we went into the community to listen to the anger and see what people want done. Shots, cars scurrying, people running. A police came from everywhere. The police cruisers and sirens feel like a daily thing now. I was sitting in my car at 457, reading some mail. And Charlita Burris has had more than enough. I'm ducking and trying to look, and then I saw residents running. She was in her car reading her mail in East Durham when the latest shots came just steps away. Police say a young person was shot here on East Main and Elm Streets. We need help. Mayor, city council members, get out of your seat. We watched as officers put down cones for shell casings at the apartment complex next door, too. If, if bullets was coming, literally, I would not have time. Earlier in the day, police say another juvenile was shot at this apartment complex off 54, wounded in a drive-by. If you add it all up, 15 young people have been shot so far this year. Few more gruesome than what we saw yesterday as two teenagers lost their lives because of gun violence. We actually have to get these kids involved in some things and continue to nurture them and let people let them know there are people here who want to see better for them. Fred Evans runs Bull City Bulldogs. They can't even go to the park without worrying about something happening. He's reaching out to kids as young as four and five for football to get them involved and on the right path earlier on. It's people out here who are trying, but without all of the resources that we we need to con to make these things bigger, we can only do so much. Fred trying for his grandson, Kimond. Keep him active, keep him doing things, then maybe uh, it'll get a little bit better. He's just a sophomore at Northern High. Tonight, hopeful for any little bit of progress. It's a thing that's a regular basis now. Yeah. People aren't talking about it. It happens every day. It's a part of life now. Part of life. Fred also talked about having life talks in addition to getting kids involved in sports. We have pressed DPD tonight for answers as to who they're looking for. They said that both incidents are under investigation. An eyewitness at the shooting here in East Durham told police he saw someone roll by that scene on dirt bikes and start firing. A scene, ironically, Stephen Lauren, that happened just down the block, just walking distance here from DPD headquarters. Back to you. Mm -hmm.